All right, we're here at Sean's house in the garage. We're going to build two bikes, hopefully. They're gonna be like e-moped style bikes. So we've got four days to build two bikes and test ride them and have some fun with them. So let's see how much progress we can get done. Got the pipe bender. Look at this. Legit. Got our plasma cutter if we need it. We've got the setup here. Finalizing the blueprints. Make sure you show them what water looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, day one. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah. It's coming together. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, yeah, well, some of it's like burnt shirt. I can't tell where the lint and the burnt shirt ends. I can't even tell if that's a belly button. Got our handlebars and forks and boots. All right, so we didn't design the fork set. Sean just designed this little triple tree. So how long did that just take you? To draw the shape? Yeah. Five minutes. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna, he just designed that up on AutoCAD LT. And then he's got a CNC machine right here. Yes, this is the dopest garage that, that there is. And there's his fridge. We're hoping that the chain line is going to be awesome and not crappy. Well, I, in the very lowest gear, it'll be fine at least. That's not going to be. So we'll be able to hit 45 at least. We may not be able to climb. Yeah. I mean, do you always feel good about 45 degree chain lines? Mm hmm. 45 degrees or less. That's my bumper sticker. One time. Didn't, didn't mess that one up. Fork yeah. yeah. Fork. How you move? Oh, I love it, dude. Yeah. It likes it. There's a hammer. Oh, I got one. 
<laughs> Dude, look at that. That's awesome. Oh. That's that a is, bike. That is perfect. <laughs> oh. Grab what, oh, that was... Actually, it feels pretty good, too, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Do I look ridiculous? Dude, Dude this looks, looks awesome. Yeah, like, like, that looks pretty good. All right, should we get the wheels? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's that good. That's so cool. Well, it's Dude, this, fit, this fits good, too. Yeah. I, this is good ergonomics. Now, now, now think like an it, like an inch and a half more for the seat. And... Yeah, but you can still sit, and then... Boom. That, boom. That, you have room good. for... Having that digital caliper makes it look like you know what you're doing. It's the only reason I use it. Use it for everything. <laughs> Measuring your cup of coffee. <laughs> Fans over here. We got lots of help. Hey, lots viewers. of helpers. Hey viewers. Team effort. Team effort. You can't do it without two yeah. people staring at your work. <laughs> we could we couldn't have done this by ourselves. No, absolutely not. You definitely need two people staring. <laughs> Drinking. Go team. Ed commenting. <laughs> No, nah, dude, you should do it yeah, the I'll other way. This way. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have done it that way. Okay. I don't know if I should be like breathing those <laughs> I know. fumes, but uh, feels good. Uh, everything's so nice right now. <laughs> And we'll see how it breaks. Nice. See? Johnny Nerd Out Seat. That's a Shawnee Nerd Out Seat. Pedal Strike? <laughs> Pedal Strike is real. <laughs> Pretty sure. It's steering on it feels really good though. Uh -huh. Quick handling. Yeah. See, Sean, this is how you run without falling. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna go there. Either <laughs> mount it centered like you had it, or the one side. Yeah, that's awesome. And at, that, at that point, it hits the tube. Yeah. So. Should I try to get your extras. I'm out of here. Hold my beer. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. See you later. <laughs> oh, it's smoking here. <laughs>
thing. Then turn that up to five. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, you're only on one. Put your pedals up. Yeah. <laughs> and it will go. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Just, yeah, yeah, I got it. Damn. Dude, that thing is all bad. Yeah, it goes pretty good. The bike is so sweet, comfortable. Finishing up the build, the e-moped. Um, this is version 1.0. Obviously, we've kind of hit some some things that we need to, you know, figure out. The rear bottom bracket's gonna have to be brought up a little bit. You see, there's just no chain clearance. How long have we built it? In pretty much three days, three full days. So it's about three full days. It's a, it's Monday morning now. Version two should go a little bit quicker. What are we gonna do? Maybe add a suspension, possibly. Yeah. Some sort of a drink holder or something. And this is going to be like some sort of cruiser bike or just kind of a... I don't even know. What, Partial mud flat. Yeah, maybe like a, a mud flat. <clears throat> maybe even double fenders. But yeah, this bike will do 41. I got that clocked on my GPS. I think if we went with bigger tires, these are 20 inch tires. If we went with bigger ones, it would probably hit a little bit more than 41. We got to clean up these wiring. Here's the controller. You know, right now it's just kind of set in place, but, and this bike is, it's fun. It really is a lot of fun to ride. All the neighbors were coming by and riding it, so that was fun. Brakes work well, stops really good. Obviously it's got the Cyclone motor. It has its quirks, it's got tons of power, but it's, you know, it's just like a brute motor. It's not very refined. It doesn't have an accurate speedometer. No pedal assist just yet. But for this bike, I don't know if you need pedal assist. This is, this is a woe machine. You ride it and it's just kind of, you don't expect it to be that fast. Obviously, depending on what gear you're in, but. Pinstripe chain line adjustment, right? Yeah, chain line adjustment. We got to mess with, with getting this. You know, the Cyclone builds are always a little little fun, but that won't take very long. I think it just needs a little bit more spacer, bigger spacer in between those gears. Seat might need to make it a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's got a little grab handle here. Come up with a rack. So anyways, we're gonna, this is version one. We'll work on version two, and then we'll probably do a Dumb and Dumber style video where we take these bad boys and girls on a trip of some sort. That'd be awesome. All right, later guys.